Gaining weight is very easy to do, but losing it can be very difficult. However, even if you weigh a thousand pounds, it's still possible to get back down to a healthy 170. All through proper diet and exercise, and sometimes surgery, and these next winners are proof of that. From a dedicated Taylor Swift fan to the heaviest man in the world, here are the heaviest people who lost all that weight. And some who gained it back as well. Number 10. Ronnie Brewer. Ronnie Brewer at one point in his life weighed a staggering 306 kilograms or 674.61 pounds. He was inactive, ate too much, and was told by his doctors that he would be unlikely to live past his 35th birthday with his current lifestyle. Making a decision to get better, however, he was aided by none other than Taylor Swift's songs. Ronnie started to hit the gym on a regular basis, going over two years with hard exercise and dieting. All while he was exercising, he was jamming out to a playlist at Taylor's best songs as motivation. After that long and arduous two years and a very long 15-hour surgery to remove excess skin, Brewer successfully shed 180 kilograms or 396.83 pounds. Brewer has been doing great since then, keeping the weight off and living a happy life with his girlfriend. Number 9. David Elmore Smith David has a rather unflattering nickname that he's known by, that being the 650-pound virgin. David has been morbidly obese for most of his life and suffered from emotional issues such as depression and anxiety, which only further worsened his condition. David decided to make a big change in his life and enlisted the help of a personal trainer named Chris Powell. Thanks to Chris, he did start to take baby steps towards recovery, starting with walking around the house and having good thoughts as well. Through all that hard work, he actually shed 400 pounds. However, due to his emotional issues, he ended up turning back to food and regained all the weight he had lost, and then some. David acknowledged that he had only tackled half of his problem, looking good on the outside but hating himself on the inside, and then turned back to food after that. As of today, he's still struggling to lose the returning weight, and updates regularly on his Instagram. And on a personal note, you have my support, David. Number 8. Mayra Rosales Mayra Rosales' story of fit to fat is a strange and tragic one, to say the least. Mayra came to prominence for the wrong reason when she admitted to falling on her baby nephew when she tried to pick him up, and weighing 1,036 pounds, it's obvious she crushed him to death. She took full responsibility for the death, but it soon came out that her nephew did not die from being crushed. Her nephew had actually sustained injuries related more to head trauma and severe beatings, something that Mayra was unable to do due to her weight. It was then revealed that Mayra made up the story to protect her sister, who was the true murderer of her own child. Moving on from her nephew's death, she started the process to lose weight via diet and surgery, going through a few procedures and gastric bypass as well. This caused her to lose 800 pounds, and she took custody of her sister's children while her sister ran off and went to jail. Mike Habranco Mike was a man who, like everyone on this list, suffered from morbid obesity and was even at one point considered to be one of the heaviest men in the world. Mike decided to try and lose weight, contacting fitness guru Richard Simmons, who was more than happy to help him lose some of his girth. In fact, he lost a staggering 707.68 pounds from his original 906.1. He toured the states for lectures on dieting and exercise, even appearing on a few shows to promote the message. However, seven years after his initial weight loss, he fell back into his old ways and went from a healthier weight of 200 to a terrifying 999. Mike spent the remainder of his life with infrequent hospital visits and eventually hit 1,100 pounds. Mike sadly, but unsurprisingly, passed away due to his obesity on July 25th of 2013. Number 6. Paul Mason Born in the good old United Kingdom, Paul Mason has the sad nickname of the heaviest man in the UK. Starting his food addiction in his 20s, Paul ate to avoid dealing with his feelings of depression and trauma from child abuse. This caused him to shoot up to a very heavy weight of 978.85 pounds in only a few short years. Fearing for his own health, he applied for a gastric bypass and was granted it, losing 650 pounds and getting to a still heavy but far more respectable 350 pounds. Sadly though, he's one of the ones who relapsed and he went back to his food addiction after facing some personal issues, and as of this writing has a recorded weight of 500 pounds. Number 5. Donna Simpson 
Donna Simpson is an American native who has a rather strange story. She wanted to gain the weight. Yeah, I'm not kidding. Donna proclaimed in 2008 that she wanted to become one of the heaviest women, even setting up a website where fans could see her progress. She set her optimum weight at 1,000 pounds, and by 2008, she actually weighed about 630. However, in 2010, she actually lost a bit of that weight, going to about 602. While she certainly isn't as heavy as previous entries, she does hold a certain distinction as a Guinness World Record holder for a less than enviable reason. In 2010, she gave birth to a baby girl named Jacqueline and was declared as the heaviest woman to give birth. In fact, it even took a team of 30 doctors and a cesarean section to deliver the baby. Eventually, she ended up having a son as well and made the decision to lose weight to raise her children better, losing nearly 300 pounds to get to a healthier weight of 370. Well, healthier in comparison, I suppose. Number 4. Manuel Uribe Another patron sufferer of morbid obesity, Manuel was confined to his bed and unable to move due to the fact that he weighed a whopping 1,300 pounds. He secured this weight on a steady diet of pizza and tacos and was taken care of by his mother who kept him fed and cleaned. Manuel wanted to get better and appeared on a public TV network where he made an emotional call for help. This call, funnily enough, was actually answered by the Mexican government who appointed him nutritionists and doctors to aid him. After being put on a steady diet of healthier foods, which includes chickens, greens, salads, and such, it caused him to slim down to a more respectable 510 pounds. He has two specials on his life and attempted to open up a foundation for nutrition and obesity help, but it was never fully certified. Manuel sadly passed away in 2014, suffering liver failure at the age of 48. Number 3. Robert Earl Hughes Another title holder a heavy as man, Robert Earl Hughes was a Missouri native who started his weight gain at a very early age, weighing a hefty 175 pounds at the age of 6 and 380 at the age of 10. In his adult years, he reached a hefty weight of 1,041 pounds and worked mostly at fairs and carnivals where he sold photos of himself. Interestingly enough though, while he did weigh nearly a ton, he wasn't bedridden and could walk fine with the use of a cane, at least until he was 31 years old. Robert's massive weight gain was attributed less to food consumption and more to a ruptured thyroid gland. This caused him to gain weight far more rapidly without stop. Robert sadly passed away at the age of 32, developing measles and uremia, and was unable to be properly treated. It's said that his coffin was as big as a piano, the poor guy. Now it's time for the day's best pick. Today's best pick is of a very hefty man on the left and then a super muscly dude on the right, and... Well, I'll be honest, I couldn't find much on the guy. Image search just leads me to a band and well, a lot of fat animals. So to make up for that, let's talk about a woman who's another world record holder. In fact, a double world record holder. That being number two, Rosalie Bradford. Rosalie Bradford was an American native who at one point held the world record for world's heaviest woman. Her weight gain began after the birth of her son, where she found herself staying at home often and cooking food, with no other real activity. Her weight soared uncontrollably and eventually reached a staggering 1,200 pounds, and she became immobile for several years. Due to a blood infection that landed her in the hospital, she gave up exercise and dieting for a very good amount of time. She also sadly tried to commit suicide a few times, unsuccessfully. A concerned friend eventually contacted Richard Simmons, who motivated her to get back to exercising and even sent her some exercise tapes and an eating plan. Rosalie started by clapping her hands to the videos as it was the only movement she was capable of, and focus on a steady diet. Thanks to this process, she dropped an impressive 420 pounds and further dropped her down to 500. She kept to her dedication, dieting, and increasing her exercise regimen, which eventually resulted in her dropping down to a very respectable 283 pounds. Rosalie actually held two records, one for the heaviest woman as we said before, and also most weight lost by a woman. She sadly passed away in 2006, but she passed away a much lighter woman. Before we move on, do me a favor. My analytics show that only about 15% of you watching are actually subscribed. Come on guys, what's up with that? Can you guys please hit the subscribe button? You guys watch my videos every day anyway, so you might as well subscribe and keep up to date with every video we put out. Number 1. Juan Pedro Franco Officially called the most obese person in the world, Juan at one point weighed a staggering 1311.75 pounds. For reference, that's about the weight of a male polar bear. 
This was back in 2016, and he's since then gone on to have an impressive transformation. This all started when he met Dr. Jose Antonio Castaneda, who put Juan on a Mediterranean diet that focused on veggies and fruits. On top of the diet, he also received a gastric bypass, a sleeve, and band surgery, which resulted in Juan slimming down to 458.56 pounds. This is an impressive loss, and he's still going, focusing on his diet and doing what exercise he can. Juan also made headlines as he shrugged off the COVID-19 virus after a month, attributing his recovery to the treatments he's received. And that's our video for today, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. This list certainly has its downs and its ups, but there's one thing we need to take from this. We are responsible for our health, and too much of a good thing can be detrimental to us. I'm a pretty heavy guy, and I need to do better, and I know I can, just like you. With all that said and done, that's our video for today, folks, and I'll see you all next time. Later, everybody.